Hi there, I'm Joshua, and I'm going to showcase some cool new features that are now live in version 1.31 of Streamlit. Let's dive right in. The first update is that chat layouts no longer need to be full screen. Previously, if you wanted to build a chat UI with Streamlit, the chat always took up the full width of the app, with the chat input bar being fixed to the bottom of the screen. Now, you have a lot more options when deciding how to add a chat feature to your app's UI. You can now put a chat feature into a container, a tab, the sidebar, in expanders, or at the bottom of the page. You can also utilize the scroll container feature from version 1.30 to make sure large chats don't take up too much space. Our next feature is enabling chat message streaming. Previously, it was hard to configure chat messages to stream results and share outputs in real time. Now, it's easy to enable your chat to stream, so chat users can get results as they are processed. Streaming an LLM's reply is so much nicer than having to wait five seconds and then seeing the full answer all at once. Our last feature is ST Page Link. Previously, native page navigation was limited to the default navigation based on file names. With ST Page Link, you can add your own custom navigation, including disabled or hidden pages, section headings, or links in the main app pane, such as a simple top bar or grid. You can even link to an external site in the same style as a page link. This update also means you no longer have to include emojis in your page file names. Update to the latest version of Streamlit and start using these new features with the change log in our docs, which can be found linked in the video description. We're super excited to see all the amazing apps that y'all share on the Streamlit forum and on social media. If you enjoyed this release video and want to stay in the loop, smash the subscribe button below. Enjoy version 1.31 and happy Streamlitting.